Carrots. Flying passive mobs introduced to Minecraft in the World of Color update of 1.12. Is there much to know about these flappy birds? Well, let's find out. Parrots can spawn with one of five random colored feathered bodies. These colors include red, blue, cyan, gray, and green. Different colored parrots share identical traits and behave exactly the same. Since parrots are passive mobs, they will never decide to attack, even if provoked. If they are struck, they will sometimes fly upward to avoid being in reach of further attacks. As helpful as this is for parrots, most won't even make it to a high enough altitude before dying, as they only wield a measly three hearts of health, which doesn't vary throughout all difficulty modes. Killing a parrot will cause them to drop a minimum of one feather up to a maximum of two. They will also drop a small amount of experience upon death. Parrots naturally spawn in jungle biomes. Although they are classified as a flying mob, they can commonly be found wandering across the jungle floor as they most often slowly flap down from higher areas opposed to flying up to higher areas such as treetops. If a parrot found themselves underwater, they'll immediately begin flapping their wings to swim back up to the surface. Feeding a cookie to a parrot will instantly poison the parrot and sadly deliver an instantaneous death. Parrots offer a wide variety of lovable behaviour. Most notably, they seem constantly fascinated by other mobs as when one is close by, all nearby parrots will happily approach their new friend and begin to socialise. No neutral or hostile mob are safe from a parrot's friendliness as parrots are not afraid to approach almost anyone without offering their company. This characteristic is also very noticeable amongst parrots themselves as they tend to enjoy each other's company and usually like to stay relatively close to one another. But maybe sometimes sitting near someone isn't enough for them and would like to get a little closer. Yes, parrots can very much sit on your shoulder. To do this, you'll need to tame the parrot first. Taming a parrot is very simple and easy. Simply feeding them enough seeds will cause them to befriend you. Keep in mind, unlike other tameable mobs, parrots cannot be forcefully bred. Once tamed, walking over them will cause them to perch on your left shoulder. Sometimes a parrot will randomly decide to dismount your shoulder and land somewhere nearby. And sometimes a tamed parrot will randomly decide to fly towards you and come land on your shoulder. And in case you were wondering, yes, you can have a parrot on each shoulder. To force a parrot off your shoulder, simply jumping will cause them to flap away to a nearby spot. Interacting with a tamed stationary parrot will force them to sit. Parrots that are sitting will not attempt to perch on your shoulder, offering their loyal obedience and will not move until interacted with again. Parrots will also dismount your shoulder if you begin to fall a short distance or get attacked or hop into boats and carts, or land in any liquid including lava, or pretty much doing almost anything. Additionally, when a parrot is on a shoulder, they cannot take any damage until they dismount. Parrots also employ the incredible ability to imitate sounds. They will commonly do this when nearby hostile mobs as well as particular neutral mobs. Here is an example of a parrot imitating a witch. <laughs> Parrots can actually ride with you in boats and will sometimes land in boats when close to one. Now this would be delightful, but when another parrot decides to take your spot in the boat, you will no longer be able to hop in and steer the boat. You'll have to resort to destroying the boat to teach the cheeky buggers a lesson. And if parrots couldn't already be more adorable, if a jukebox is present amongst the nearby parrots, when a music disc is thrown in, parrots will indeed boogie. is they have appalling taste in music as they will dance to anything played for them even the more disturbing music discs yeah maybe they're my
more creepy than they are cute. Not to mention, some will keep dancing even after the music has finished. Personally, parrots are one of my favourite mobs in Minecraft as they boast so many cute little positive features that it's hard not to like them. If you wanted to see another episode featuring another mob you're interested in learning more about, then feel free to make a request in the comments section. That, however, brings us to the end of this episode. Therefore, it's come the time for the trivia question. Does rainy weather affect a parrot's ability to fly?